Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Be Optimistic Isles. I hope you all are doing great. Today I'm here with another useful video to improve or to increase your scores and IELTS writing. And in my previous video, I provided you information about uses of comma. Actually, there was part one and here I'm with part two video and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get immediate notification regarding my videos upload and must smash the like button if you find my videos useful as well as interesting and don't forget to share my videos with your friends as well so let's dive into today's concept without wasting a precious time right now so guys as in previous video i've discussed about the few rules about uses of comment today i'm going to proceed on so firstly we need to use comma after prepositional phrases prepositional phrase means which consists of a preposition and an object right so usually preposition phrases starts with before after by behind during for from and as you know all these are prepositions and when these are combined with the particular object then these become prepositional phrase like in year 2020 right this is a prepositional phrase so after every prepositional phrase we need to use a comma as you can see during the national anthem after the game so after such kind of phrases comma is essential right for example in the past it is also prepositional phrase because in is preposition past is the object right it took much time it took much more time for people to travel outside the country so here you can see i've used comma after prepositional phrase right so nextly in order to separate multiple adjectives modifying the same noun when we are using multiple adjectives modifying the same noun noun could be a person or could be a place right for example the tall elegant lady is my boss so these adjectives and i have used comma over here right nextly to separate introductory adverbs these are most commonly used by gt candidates while writing a letter for example interestingly fortunately apparently something like this right so when we use any introductory adverb means any adverb in the beginning of the sentence that is called introductory adverb so let's have a look at the example surprisingly most people believe that he is wrong so you can see you can see after adverb have used a comma nextly most important one after transitional words transitional words like that are that we call linkers or linking words in IELTS writing these are mostly used on the IELTS writing task 2 and some of these are also used in task 1 so it is essential so have a look at these words and make sure to use comma after these right such as conversely nevertheless in spite of however and uh, if you want to use however in mid of a particular sentence in mid means you want to join two different sentences with however then you have to proceed you have to put a comma before and after however in the both places it is necessary right in comparison by contrast firstly secondly listing words finally thus therefore consequently as a result moreover furthermore alternatively after all these words it is essential to put a comma if you want to get high scores and your grammar accuracy right which is a part of four criteria for writing checking right for example therefore government should encourage those businesses to move to rural areas so this is a transitional word so after transitional words we need to use a comma and must leave a space afterwards right nextly after connectors and IELTS writing we also need to use comma for example after to begin with to commence with and conclusion or to conclude right for example to begin with computer games provide numerous benefits so make sure to use these at appropriate place nextly uses of comma in complex sentence so in this first structure we need not to use comma comma shouldn't be used 
that is main clause means independent clause plus dependent clause right independent clause means a complete thought dependent clause means a, an incomplete thought this thing would be clear to you with the help of an example so let's have a look i can buy groceries you can see that it is an independent it is a complete thought by itself right i can buy groceries in the second sentence when i'll go for meeting my friend this is dependent so when we are using this structure independent plus dependent then we don't need to use a comma in case of complex sentence means with subordinating conjunction have a look at another example we didn't enjoy the day this is independent because weather was awful right and we have second structure in which we need to use comma to separate dependent clause from independent we need to use comma means when this order is shuffled when we are using dependent clause in the beginning and independent at in the second place then comma is necessary right for example when i will go for meeting my friend as we have changed the order then comma is necessary after first clause right means after first sentence when i will go for meeting my friend i can buy groceries here you can see dependent is in the beginning so we need to use a comma right and have a look at another example as well because weather was awful we didn't enjoy the day fine so in this case it is dependent this is independent so after dependent clause we need to use a comma next case is that when we need to use a comma with subordinating conjunction means a prior to subordinating conjunctions right so it is required in case of adverb of concession so firstly let's have some information about adverb of concession that what is it an adverb of concession offers a statement which contrasts with main idea right which do opposition with main idea an adverb of concession often start with following subordinating conjunctions though although even though while whereas and even if right so let's see use commas to introduce dependent clause beginning with these words even when independent clause comes first means it is kind of exception as in the previous video sorry as in the previous slide i've mentioned you that if the independent clause is in the beginning so we need not to use comma but this is an exception when there is adverb of concession means there is any kind of contrast with the main idea then we need to use comma it would be clear to you with the help of example so have a look at it carefully for example she said it boldly this is independent clause but although i didn't believe her means this is contradicting with the main thought so in this case we need to use a comma before subordinating conjunction right so let's have a look another example john got out after 6 months right this is independent whereas martin had to serve his full 2 year sentence right here they are again doing contraction with the main idea so it is necessary to use comma before subordinating conjunction i hope it is clear to you but still let's take one another example to make it clarify to you completely the delivery guy waited in the pouring rain while the little boy counted out his pennies so here there is no any kind of opposition this is although it is independent this is dependent but there is no any kind of opposition so no comma is required as per the first rule in case of complex sentence right so let's have a look at its second form the delivery guy waited at the door while his supervisor waiter in dry car right means where the dependent clause is doing opposition with independent clause so in this case we need to use a comma fine 
If you still have any problem, then let me know by typing in the comment box. So let's talk about you, the time when we need not to use a comma. After use of that, it is clearly seen that in year 2020, most of children started playing computer games. I've seen this type of mistake multiple times. Even I used to tell the students to avoid doing it, but uh, some of them are habitual to do so. And I don't want to repeat this kind of stuff because you are penalized heavily for doing such kind of tiny mistakes. But uh, these prove as a blunder for you. This is wrong. So let's have a look at its correct form. It is clearly seen that in year 2020 here you can see it is a prepositional phrase so we need to use comma here but not here most of children started playing computer so guys this is all about uses of comma and its rules and where to use or where not to use and it seems a quite a small topic but extremely important or we can say chota packet bada dhamaka right so be very careful to use it and let's move toward our next topic that is capitalization it is also part of our punctuation so we are going to cover it briefly most of you are aware about that as firstly we need to use capital letter after end of every sentence means first letter of every sentence should be capital after full stop right and secondly proper noun such as country name person name should be capital right so be careful with this as well as in task one you mostly come across some different countries but uh, i think 50 percent students they do the same mistake they don't capitalize the country's first alphabet but it is necessary right nextly when we need not to use capital letters don't write capital letters in between the sentences. I know like some students use it during the school time and uh, at the time it can be tolerated but not in ours. Right. So don't do such kind of experimentation over here and don't capitalize word after comma. Right. As we have taken the example here you can see as well in year 2000 price of fuel was increased this is also common mistake that is done by the students they used to capital you used to capitalize the first letter after comma as well right 